Jason Lopez, uh, Mauricio Lastres, Diego Moreno, we're group number 17, uh, our first part of the project, we have to analyze uh, four bar mechanisms, uh, analyze the four bar mechanisms for which dimensions and constraints are given. We have to calculate the trajectory of a given point S attached to the R3 link. This is our four bar mechanisms, this is what they gave us, R1, R2, R3, we R3 is going to be the same thing as the one right here, so we can find our point S. This is our position equations. We have we have to find A, B, C to get X, and with X we can get uh, angle number four, and with angle number four we can get angle number three. These are the velocity equations. The the one on top is the velocity number three. Then with that one go down and we get the velocity number four. These are the acceleration equations. The top one is acceleration three, acceleration four. Then we all of these we go and we find XC, then we find YC, and then with those we can find the position X. Now Diego is going to talk about the four bar mechanism was modeled in SolidWorks and uh, figures given where this angle is zero and then the input is uh, R2 uh, which is 38 centimeters. Now R3 is uh, 40 centimeters and it has an attachment QS in which point S lies. We have to find the trajectory for point S. This is the position analysis for the system. Uh, these are the positions of, this is the position of uh, the fourth uh, member this is the position for the second member, third and first. Uh, they all move at different paces, uh, so they have uh, different angles at all times. This is the velocity for the third member uh, in comparison with the, with the angle of the second member. Uh, it goes up to 1,000 uh, degrees per second, as you can see. Uh, this is the velocity for the fourth member and it fluctuates a lot more than velocity for the third member. Uh, here it goes down to 200 uh, degrees per second and it goes up to uh, 1200 degrees per second. This is the acceleration for the third member and this uh, you can see uh, from the graph that it fluctuates a lot and then at two points uh, it goes at constant speed and they are here and here. For the fourth member, uh, we see the same uh, behavior. At two points, the velocity is constant, and the rest uh, is very fast. The point S uh, denotates the trajectory of the uh, of the member link that was attached to the third link. Uh, uh, it traces an oval, as you can see here. The application given for this four bar was a mixer that could be used in a manufacturing in or material processing facility. The second part of this project was to synthesize a slider crank mechanism and three positions were given in such a way that you had to backwards synthesize the problem and find the slider crank positions or the slider crank lengths uh, and angles uh, to match those positions that were given. This is a plot of the positions that were given. This is uh, position one, position two, position three. And the objective is to design a slider crank that will pass through these positions. Uh, different methods are, can be used, but mathematically what we did was uh, form a circle that is generated by the positions that were given. And that circle will, uh, will, will give us the circle slide. And in the circle slides, you can find positions for the C point, which is on the slider and the slider can only move in an axial direction or have an axial motion. So it's very important that uh, the link lengths and all the angles are, are such that you can have this uh, linear motion. With the positions that were given, the motion was not linear and uh, changes had to be made to the positions that uh, the, the coupler link passed. So what was first done was to alter the angle of uh, position number three because that's the one that seemed to be uh, most different from the others and sweep the angle until finally there was a straight line that could be drawn for all the points C. 
and then uh, also the third position had to be slightly translated so that the, the length of the arms were not too disproportional. This is a plot of the points C, and you can see that the, uh, the equation is linear and the r-squared value is 1, so this proves that the, the C point will move in a linear motion. These are the um, link links that were synthesized, and we have um, R2 that's 50 inches and R3 that's around 240 inches, and the angles related to the coupler length. The very important uh, aspect is the, uh, the position B trace, which is elliptical. And this is a SOLIDWORKS model of the 